What's up everybody, welcome again to the Middle Sphere. My name is Senti. In this video, I want to talk to you about how you can set up your Metamax wallet, okay? So uh, if you're new to the Middle Sphere, please hit the subscribe button. We have a goal of reaching 100 subscribers and we are almost there and we're all going all the way to 1,000 subscribers. So help us get there. We release contents about the financial markets and cryptocurrency and also personal finance and developments coming up very soon. And if you want this kind of context, then go on and hit the notification icon to get notified when we start releasing uh, this particular contest. So uh, let's get into what the video is about. Now, if you know what the video on, on top wallets that you should have in cryptocurrency space, then you can just uh, check out the link right there at the top right, and you can go get uh, this uh, wallets. But if you have your Metamax and you don't know how you can set them up, then Let's go about doing that. So right now I'm on the website. This is metamax.io. Make sure that that is the website that you use. Uh, there are a lot of scams in the cryptocurrency space. So be careful as not to go and install the wrong wallet and then have your funds siphoned from your account. Now, uh, when you come to the website here, you're going to see uh, download for Chrome. Now, if you're using different browsers, you there are different browsers that you know are compatible with Metamax. So uh, if you don't know what Metamax is, you know, Metamax is a, it's a, it's kind of like a wallet. It's a crypto wallet uh, that you can, you know, uh, that comes in the form of a browser extension. So you include it to your browser. So whenever you visit in a website that has to do with, you know, having a cryptocurrency transaction, something like Uniswap or, you know, OpenSea or any kind of, you know, uh, swap or DAP that is there and you visit the website with your browser, it's easy for you to connect your wallet straight to it without you having to check your phone or anything, you can just connect your Metamax to the, to the browser, to that particular DAP or website, and then you can do what you want to do. So let me click on download for Chrome. Now this is, I, I actually have my Metamax set up already, uh, but for this one, I'm going to, you know, just do something new for you. So if you have a trust wallet, let, let's just go and follow the steps first and install it. So you can see now, when I clicked on it, it took me to the, uh, web store now if you come all the way down here if you're using different browsers like let's say you're using kiwi browser or you're using brave uh you can be able to also attach this uh, extension to it so you can just click add to chrome and when you do that it's going to tell you you should add all this and all that and you just click add extension so make sure that is the right one make sure you're, you're seeing this tick right here metamax or io so that you don't you don't you won't go attach something different to it uh it's going to download the file and then you can just go and you know include your uh you can just open it up and then it's going to add itself so let's just wait for that to be done it's adding right now to chrome so just go check out the information and make sure that you know you have the right wallet you know so you can see this it's an ethereum wallet although you can add different blockchains to it so right now, when it's done, it should, you can see right here, it's saying checking. So you just wait for all these things, all these processes to, you know, be set up. And then it said it has been added to Chrome. So now we've added, you can see there are other uh, wallets that you can add. So when it's done adding, it's going to bring out this interface for you. And what it show, it's going to show you is where you're going to start setting up your wallet. So if, if, it's, if it's that you have a wallet that you want to install, or you want to create a new wallet for your MetaMax, uh, this is where you're going to do that. So we're just going to wait for this to appear. Okay, uh, let's, let's just restart MetaMax right here. I don't know why it's, it's giving me that, but I'm going to restart it. I'll just come to extension. You just click on MetaMax and it should open up right here. At this point here so you can just go ahead and you know include your your metamax so once it's done it told you right here so connecting to ethereum and decentralized web happy you know to all this stuff here so you just click on get started and then you can come here read everything here you know once you're satisfied make sure that you keep your keys you know and all this kind of stuff these are the things that are giving you some warnings so you say I agree and then when you click i agree 
uh, it takes you to, it asks you this question, are you new to Metamax? So if you are new, that means if you don't have an Ethereum wallet from any place, maybe you don't have a trust wallet uh, and you just, you're just starting in the crypto space or you just want to get a new um, wallet for your Ethereum just for the purpose of maybe this is what you want to use solely for uh, NFTs or to connect with dApps and you don't want to you know, connect your other wallets that you have, then you can come all the way and say, yes, create a wallet. But if you have, uh, you know, a wallet before, you can take your seed phrase or your, you know, your private key and you can import it here. So when you click on import, the same wallet on your on your trust wallet, you can include it to this place here and import it to your MetaMax here. And that's what you're going to be using. So your assets on that particular wallet is also going to be displayed on your MetaMax. But uh, if you don't have that, you can just click on create. So it's going to tell you to create a new password and all that. And I'm doing this specifically for the purpose, just educational purpose alone. And so I'm just going to create a new, you know, a, a password here. So I'm just going to create that. And then you click on, I, I have agreed, you know, I read and agreed this and then you click on it and that is all it's going to create it's going to bring out your 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 key phrases so it's going to tell you to watch some videos you know how you can protect yourself and your seed phrase and all that so you can just watch the video if you are just click on it you know and watch the the video and then once you but if you don't want to waste time just click on next and it's going to tell you to click here to review your your secret words and then you have to write it down uh, we always recommend you write your your seed phrases down somewhere so a lot of people like to take a screenshot or you know just copy the whole thing and you know paste it somewhere uh that's quite dangerous so uh i don't think you really need to do that you just have to take a pen and a paper or your diary or your journal and write down the words in it so when you're done writing it you come back and then you click it so you can tell you click here to reveal this or you can click remind me later let me click remind me later and see what it does so that remind me later now has taken me you know to my wallet straight so uh we've skipped the process of writing it down so you can just click review when you click on review in the previous uh place there it's going to show you then you're going to copy it down your words, your seed phrases, you copy it down and then you just put it back in and that is how you set up your wallet. So they're, they're going to ask you maybe put in one of the words or two of the words that are missing and then you set up your wallet. So right now I've done this and if I want to assess my key phrases, if now that I didn't write it down, so if I want to go, I have the password so I can easily come back and log in. But if I want to check out my seed phrases so now i can just come to security and privacy and i can click here review secret recovery phrase you can see that so when i click on this it's going to show me the words that i didn't write down that last time so i can write it down properly now in case i get to lose the access to my wallet this is what i will use to recover my wallet again so that is just as simple as it is with setting up your metamax so if you're done doing this you can also come to network so i in the previous my video talking about this top six wallets i talked to, told you about you know how we can add different networks to metamax so we have the ethereum mainnet now if you click on it you can see there there's all these are the networks only ethereum mainnet right now so i can add another network to it so a network like solana or the binance uh you know, ecosystem i can add Binance Smart Chain here. I can add Matic, you know, Polygon. I can add um, Cosmos. So just, I can put my AVAX, you know, just any uh, network I can add here and I can interact with their blockchain with Metamax. So that's one of the beauty of Metamax. And uh, so these are the ways that you can set it up. So you can just call me, click on it. You can find the information that you, that are required. So like the network name, the RPC, new, uh, URL, and all that. You put it here, and you have your um, MetaMax uh, setup. So for you to check your account on MetaMax, you go here. You see my account. I only have one account. So the thing is, you can create new accounts or you can import other accounts. So if you have maybe a, a trust wallet. Uh, you know, uh, wallet, uh, I mean, address 
you can add it here you can just come go to your trust wallet find your private key come to import and import or you can create a new account here again so many people have different accounts for different purposes so let's say you want to have an account that you use for minting nfts just only for minting but not keeping your nft so you can put some ethereum into that account and call it you can rename it so let me just go back uh to the let me go back here to my account and then let's say let me close this one so right now i can just come here and account details and i can come here and edit this i can just call it minting minting you know and that will that will be the name of my account of this particular so whenever i want to meet mint nft uh this is what i'm going to use so you can click on it to copy or you can go here click account details come to edit and just put nft minting and that's all so if i want to mint nft this is what i'm using if i get any whitelist from any place i'm just going to come here and click put my ethereum here and this is only going to be used for minting and whenever i'm done minting, i move it to another address so i can come right here and i create a new account where i can be storing my nft in or you can connect your hardware wallet just like we talked about in the video so if you watch the video about the top six uh, wallets you'll see me talking about this so you can also if you have a treasure or a ledger you can just come here and connect it to it uh to this to your metamax now this is how you do so when you receive money this is where it is if you want to buy you can click here if you want to check out your activities if you want to check out your assets you can also add your assets there if you want to send you can click on send and then it will tell you where you're sending to you know you can put the address here or put the name of the coin so if you like you want to send to ethereum you or you know you just go to you add a person's wallet or you can add their uh ethereum the name service so that's the ens name their domain name uh you can just put it maybe like metamax.eth in this place here and it you know to bring out the transaction page for you i can even copy this and i can go to send and paste it here and it will tell you it will bring it out so what do you want to send what asset are you sending it to this asset you put the amount and all that so uh this is how you set up your metamax so let me just cancel and go back if you want to receive if you want to send your address to someone you can just come here and click on it and it's copied you can send it to the person you want to send it to so uh this is how you 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 do your stuff with metamax so just before i go uh let me just add this this little one so you can know how you use your metamax so let's say i'm on open c let me just go to open c so if you click just see how you can connect your wallet with open c uh especially after setting up your your metamax so right now i'm on open c and and i just want to let's just wait for this to load up okay so now it's done loading and i want to create a profile on OpenSea. so what i do is i just come to this place here and click profile and it will tell you to connect your wallet so you can just click on metamax after setting it up now so metamax is going to automatically pop up and tell you you know to sign this or agree you know to connect and you can just click on next so you can see this nft minting right there so you just click on next and connect to so you connect and that is all accept and sign so you just click on accept and sign and it's going to tell you to sign the transaction in OpenSea and uh on i mean on your metamax so you click the metamax here you sign it there and automatically gives you access and that is how you create your uh, open c profile using your metamax simple uh, as it can be so that is all about that you can come here and start renaming your your profile you can check your profile here and rename it to what you want to be to your settings and all that but this is just to show you how you can you know use your metamax after you're done uh installing it so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you found this video uh educating if you found it uh to be educating just hit the like button if you found value just hit the like button hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification icon to get notified every time we release a new video thank you for being here all the way and i'll see you in the next one